I am Face, and you're watching Dragon Age Inquisition OP, episode 164. Beaten at every turn. You stole the moment of my triumph, just as you stole the demon army from Erimon. And now you've chased a defenseless woman into the garden. Are you proud of yourself? Eh. You were about to murder the Empress. We both know you're not defenseless. True, you never were one to fall for my helpless damsel act. The night is still young. All I need to recover is to kill you, Inquisitor. Uh -oh. So good of you to attend my soiree. Yeah, right. Confronted is. Well, she's on, um, you know, on the roll there. Alright. You watch, I'll kill. <laughs> How about that? Probably be nice with that plan. What is this? Searching. It's not that easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Start getting this down here. Mail. Sure, you mean yeah, disabling poison slow and knockdown. Uh, so yeah. Except wait. She actually seems slowed. <laughs> Never mind. Weird. Down. Uh, we actually need to even break some stuff. Okay. Can certainly do that.
Mm, yeah, we dealt with the situation well, I would say. Of course, it was, you know, not that high level. It's only level 15 enemies. Oh so, yeah, it's kind of understandable. Seemingly dealt with everything here. Anything else interesting in here? Storage key? Where uh, could I have gotten that? Ah. Beats me. secrets maybe some hella statues secrets behind the doors yeah Didn't work out uh, quite as great seemingly yeah. it's okay staff at least for selling for sure done uh, a job here, the main job. Stop the assassination. No, made Curfew's plan go to waste. So well, that's good. For sure. Must be something here. Let's look around. Storage key. Okay, so what's in the storage? Hmm, focus belt. Coin. So we found 8 out of 15. At least I found most of the secrets. I mean, scandal secrets. Almost all. <laughs> Maybe missed some on, uh, you know, eavesdropping. But uh, the coins is uh, really what is uh, <coughs> messing me up. Kinda wanted to find out what would happen if I, you know, put all 15 coins to good use. Pretty nice scheme to organize a ball and uh, you know do it all sneaky, but uh, seemingly it got out of uh, control and uh, I seem to know enforce attack. But yeah, we were ready. Not sure what's gonna be next in this you know a little ball. Of uh, wonders. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you, you knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent? And failing. Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Yeah. I 
couldn't have caught Florian in time without Briala's help. You were working together, of course. Thanks to Briala, Gaspard's mercenary captain will testify that he hired men to infiltrate the palace. Hired thugs? I didn't expect you to stoop so low, cousin. Don't be naive, Selim. The only difference between a mercenary and a common soldier is a uniform. Keep talking, Gaspard. Eventually you'll convince somebody. There were also the threats Gaspard made to the Council of Heralds to bully them into giving him the crown. <laughs> Gaspard is a bully. Is that the worst you can say of me? He also ordered his general to sneak troops into the Winter Palace. Briala found all of this out for your sake, Selim. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. You have enough proof to dissolve his support for the throne, your majesty. You don't need to take his life. As a favor to you, Inquisitor, I will let him live. Gaspar, you are hereby banished from the Empire on pain of death. Is that all? You're too kind, Selene. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life. And Orle owes you its future. So I guess uh, deals are going to be easy. You have done a service for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. This piece is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. Orle will never forget your part in this. Nor will I. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin and shall never again hold title or land in Orlé. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orlé to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend? Ending the war was the first step. A final goal must be peace for all Thetis. Well said, Inquisitor. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, <laughs> and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. I would have stayed, but the punch ran dry. Scandalous. <laughs> Indeed. Let us see if you take this piece of news as poorly. By Imperial Decree, I have been named Liaison to the Inquisition. Selene wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. 
yeah, uh, Morrigan is typically, you know, sent to join somebody. <laughs> I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. Uh -huh. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. No, you should, you know, ask it. <laughs> Kinda. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess I place at your disposal, to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled. Yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> Things went according to plan for once. I couldn't be happier. Tonight was a triumph. You should be proud. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? I just need a moment. Yeah, that was uh, one uh, particularly successful mission. <laughs> Nothing really messed up. <laughs> but really messed uh, a whole lot of coin secret. <laughs> yeah, maybe next playthrough. So yeah, it's probably a good place to cut the episode for now. So thanks again for watching guys. See you in the next episode. Bye.